Now I'm going to tie an emerger pattern and I'm not going to use a curved hook because it's not so important. So I'm going to start with my size 14 hook uh, nano silk thread by Semperfly 18 0 and the Hiko hook 301. I'm going to start with my materials like this. So first you want to add some trailing chuck material and I'm going to use orange antrum and just choose few fibers, you don't need much. Just few fiber fibers are, are enough. You just want to, to add some shiny effect there. So don't worry about the length right now because you're going to adjust it when you finish the fly. Or it, if it's too long, just cut it now. I don't need this, so next step is to add some wire here to help our fly last longer. Okay, good. And I'm doing everything here because I want to make a nice taper before I start tying my pheasant tail for the bow. So this is it. I have some taper, but the, the thread is so thin, you, you cannot notice it, but we will make it as we advance through, through the fly. So you want your fly to be uh, quite thin, so I'll use maybe five fiber, pheasant tail fibers right now, because I don't want to make a bulky fly, uh, I want the body to go through the water film more fast. So the thinner the fly, the easier it will pierce through the water surface tension. Uh, left some, leave some space for the thorax and wings and go forward with your pheasant tail material. So this is more than enough. With two turns, just Hold it. Okay, and then go back with it, secure it, lock it with the thread, and cut the excess. Now, I was made uh, winding these pearls in the opposite direction than my thread, and now I'm going to lock everything down with the wire because I'm going to do it in the same direction as the thread. Make nice, even tight turns because this is protection before everything here. So you want your fly to be durable and trout teeth can, can damage the fly really, really easy. Okay, now go circle, secure it a bit more, that's it. <clears throat> now I need some rabbit's hair for the wings. Choose a bit, choose a bit finer hair. Don't go with the very stiff fibers from here, for example. The, this is for the bigger flies. Now, first you want to remove your under fur here. Don't need it. And now, just twist it a bit and then pull out those longer guard hairs or any hair that's sticking out a sound. Okay. Now, take nice and loose to, uh, wrap with your thread, pull back and leave some space. I'm not tightening my, my thread right now. So now, when you're satisfied, I mean, when I go with my thread over it, it will leave some, some room for the head. So now, make it as tight as possible. Check, check with your hands, is it pulling out? No. I can cut this here, so it's here. So this is it. Now in tight turns, secure everything even more very tight turns and this silk is very good for this purpose because 
you can pull it like crazy and it won't break. So for the thorax I will use some scroll with UV dubbing. You can notice that in all my videos I use this UV dubbing because I really think it adds uh, some, some ex something extra to the fly and fish they, they know that and they, they like these flies. Okay, now make thorax. Nice. Now check your wings. Right now you want to go like this on the top. So go with your use your nails to position your thread. So just go down the nail. Two turns are more than enough and then you pull down like crazy. Like I said now. Third one is here, and then all what's left is to make the head of the fly. The final position, final tuning of the fly is when you tie this knot, because with your fingers, thumb and forefinger, you're positioning everything here. Oops, yeah, it's here. So make those wings nice. Let them go together. So. Again, put your forefinger and thumb, use them to position everything as you want it. This is final stage. Almost no corrections can be done after you finish with this. This is a finished emerger pattern. Now what you want to do, you don't want to cut right away, you just break it so not all fibers are the same length this fly will write into water column like this you will be able to see those wings and everything else is for the fish nice long hook point it holds fish very very well thank you for watching if you liked this video please give us a like and subscribe thank you again